on YouTube, so we're back for another 3 ds Max tutorial. Um, today we are going to fix up his arms and then model the outing of his head, then we should be done. So what we're going to do is go to the side view, and from wireframe we're going to go to shaded, select both arms, and we're just going to pretty much position it where they are, which is here. Then we can rotate it a little bit, that looks right, and we'll position it again. There we are. So if we have a look, perfect. Now he looks complete, kind of. Um, the legs could be bigger, but we're going to leave that because I like the legs how they are. So today we're going to model the outing like I said earlier. So if we open up Google Chrome, we can see from the box pretty much just here to halfway up the box here, it just come, folds out. That's it. So that shouldn't be too hard to do. So we're going to click ahead and add a new editable poly go into the side view and we're going to go to edit and swift loop and we're just going to put a loop across here so now we can select all these edges and we can extrude that's what we're going to do so we'll scroll down to extrude wait for it to open so we'll click one but instead of group normal try by, by polygon so that looks right However, don't select the front face because around here only the back faces do. So click it and this what's local normal look like. Local looks better, so select local and it doesn't specify how much. We'll just use two. Two looks fine. So we can go to the front view, select the these top faces and these top faces, and we'll just drag them into each other like so. What's that look like? That's looking good. So we can select the back faces and drag it into each other. So zoom in, set these two and drag them in. Oh no, not that one. This one then. So there. So we've got his mask outing there around his head. So he's got his little mask thing. I don't know what to call it. But what we can do is if we go to our polygon view and select all these new polygons, what we've got to edit around here, that's it, and we can detach these because then we want to keep them separate. In fact, we don't need to detach them, we can just do it on it. So if you just had another UV wrap and you just open, so let's have a look ahead. This looks simple enough, I think. I'm not sure. So let's have a look. So, polygon. Well, what do we have first? We have the back, which is this one here. The ears are aligned. Don't worry about them being aligned. It should work fine. So, rotate it into the right place, which I believe is here. But this one is a little different. As you can see, we will have to go in and manually add the vertex to it. But this shouldn't be too hard. Just click and drag, like usual. There, see that one so hard. Now we go back to our other one, um, polygon, to the side view, round here. And instead of rotating, what we can do is just use our polygons to do it. Um, vertex, I mean, apologies. So there and finally there there so they line up now we come around and do this area here which I believe is the last one so if we go back to polygon and I believe it's this one here don't worry about them excess lines that's what connects it to the actual mask just don't, you can edit them if you like but I'm not going to I'm going to leave them as they are. And that's it. So, as you can see, the shredder is complete. You could go in and get rid of the black lines, make the white lines better, ETC. But I'm thinking it's looking quite good. We'll just go in one more time, then we select the face and select these triangles here. Where are these? Oh, it looks like we are editing the triangles then. So, we'll just select these two here. 
Yep, they're linked. And we'll drag them in and put them here. And the reason we're going to do this is because then it just makes the line look like it goes around. Look. And we'll do it for the other side as well, which is, I believe, this one. And so this one, there. Perfect. So that's it. So we've modelled the shredder. Um, that's pretty much it. So next tutorial, we might do another one. We might do something else. I don't know. We'll have to have a look. Tell me what you think. Um, show me some pictures of yours, of your models. Send it me on the Facebook group below if you like. And see you next time.